Hello, this is Richard Cispedes, and uh, I'm just here to talk about something that that is kind of like a theory that I came up with in terms of uh, um, fighting and everything. What makes, because it's been bugging me a lot, what makes a person unbeatable? What makes them undefeatable? And I, I think about Anderson Silva and the Weldon fight, and I, and I think about Mike Tyson. What, what made them better than most people? And I would have to say, or just general people that are just very difficult to fight. You know, and, and, and I don't condone fighting and fighting is negative, but I would have to say that people are too involved with the reason why fights are won or lost is because one or the other person is too emotionally involved with the processes of reality. We're too in uh, our, our our subconscious mind is too involved with the processes of reality, and instead of, and my theory is is that, in order to win a fight or to win a situation, because when people are involved with very um, crazy um, scary events, they don't know how to react to it. They're too involved in the process of the event occurring, emotionally and mentally. They're too in everyday life. People are too involved with the reality of the current of happenings of the reality, the way that we the brain processes light, the way that we look at details of objects that are around us. There's too much processes, and the emotional attachment to the reality of the moment is too is too subconsciously active. And what I mean, and how I'm trying to in in entangle that with fighting is that in order to win a fight you must detach yourself and transcend yourself from the moment of the current activity that is happening in the moment of reality you have to transcend the moment as if as a being more further in the future you have to think of your self as a person who is looking at, at 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 your current reality as past tense something that has already happened remove all emotional um, all emotional attachment do not sit and because there's no way that you can you can stop processing what's happening but you can you can ignore it and you can dampen it and you can heighten it's almost like getting a rubber uh, a rubber a balloon and stretching the skin of it even though it's still bloated you can still stretch a little bit more so that it's not a, you know that some part is not exactly connected to it it's like self enlightening you have to remove yourself from the emotions of who you're fighting with why the reasons what's going to happen don't get involved emotionally detach yourself transcend yourself further to the future you have to make yourself as though you're a camera looking down at yourself and at the activity of the reality at that very moment you have to think of the moment as if it's past tense has already happened and that you're just kind of like emotionally detached you're just kind of viewing something that's not really of importance it's kind of like when you look at fighters of the 1930s and 50s they're always like they, they used to fight like this you know they're kind of goofy looking boxers you know with their shirts off and they had beer bellies yeah. it's kind of like every moment that you're in something that involves fighting you must have you must transcend yourself from that moment don't don't acknowledge that person don't respect him don't think of him just let him do them throw his punches. See the punches coming. And that's what you're doing. You're transcending the moment. You're gonna see the punch coming. You're gonna avoid it. You're you're gonna you're gonna duck. You're gonna you're, you're gonna move your head and and bounce back and block. And you're gonna hit him. And you know it's like fighting a child. You have to consider the moment as if it's nothing more than a old um, early 19th century. Um, uh, what is it? Um, Thomas Edison, you know, um, um, movie, black and white, staticky, ugly, dorky looking, you know, uh, 
man falling over a, a you know a staircase kind of uh, non 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 important situation that completely you have to just completely transcend the moment is just like nothing and you'll dominate you'll dominate like you'll just you'll be almost like you're grabbing a child and just throwing him around like a damn rag doll you know that's how you win fights you have to be better than the moment you have to think of the moment as nothing like walking in the damn street like like nothing like the thing is though is that um but in, in, in space and time, what people don't think about is that every moment that you're doing is already the past. Every moment that is happening is already a past. So everything that you're doing, you know, it's going to be recorded by cameras and all that. But everything that you're doing is already past. Acknowledge that you are in the past at that moment, even though the, even though the activity is still occurring. Consider the activity as already the past. Consider yourself in the past. Consider yourself a person viewing an old video of yourself fighting someone. Just acknowledge it, it's about confidence, but it's about total detachment and just taking a walk in the park. You know, just don't care. Taking a walk in the park, that's what it is. You know, that's how you would fight. That's how Weldman will beat Anderson. Is if he transcends the moment, looks right through Anderson Silva. Even though Anderson Silva dodges and he has long arms and he's fast and, and he kind of uses that theory of mine subconsciously without trying, but another person can easily do it and outdo him. So Waldman can win, but he needs to acknowledge that he needs to transcend the moment as emotionless, past tense occurrence, as nothing. You know, it's almost like if you went to the past, it's almost like if Weldman, Weldman traveled to the past and fought an old time 20, 1920s boxer guy who would just knock him straight the hell out. That's how you look at the person, an old clumsy dopey 1950s boxer. You just trip him and punch him in the face. And that's how you look at everyone every time in the current event of your life. Transcend the moment, look to the future and consider the moment as past tense lose all emotional detachment don't focus on the process of the emotional process of the moment don't focus on the emotional process of the event at all it's kind of hard to describe it's like you have to think about what you're going to do but at the same time if you think too much of what you're going to do you're you're too involved you have to be you it's almost like if you're looking at a child and like when you get older, you could easily predict what the child's gonna do. Like you could sense it. And you could see it coming without even trying. You could see it coming without even an effort. You're asleep and a child is creeping up on you, is gonna dump a cup of water on you just to play a gag. You could sense it. It's like that. At the moment, you have to be that. You have to be transcending and looking at a child like that. That's how you win fights. Don't get involved. Don't think too much. Transcend and just look through the person that's one of the things look through the person don't acknowledge him as anything really think of him as an old poster from the 1920s that you're looking at and just throw away you know that's what you do and uh thank you very much that's all i want to talk about